Hello, and welcome to the first episode of my four-part series on the Apple Watch Ultra. The four-part series includes build quality and design, features and functionality, performance and battery life, and conclusion and final thoughts. So since you're here already, let's begin with the design and build quality of the watch. One of the standout features of the Apple Watch Ultra is its build quality. The Ultra is a 49 millimeter aerospace gray titanium case made from high quality materials, including a scratch resistant sapphire crystal display. The bigger display provides more room for workout metrics and detail packed watch faces. And the case rises up to surround the flat sapphire crystal and protect it from edge impacts. It is water resistant with an IP68 rating that can withstand up to 50 meters of water depth. This means you can wear it while swimming or showering without worrying about damage. The design of the watch is also very user friendly. The watch face is easy to read and navigate, and the size of the digital crown and elevated side button make it so users can operate with them with ease, even while wearing gloves. Here's the layout of the watch you should know about. The GPS antenna. A dual frequency GPS provides accurate location for calculating distance, pace, and route maps. The action button. Customized to mark a compass waypoint, start a backtrack, control a workout, begin a dive, and much more. You can also activate the siren. Dual speakers. A second speaker improves audio volume for calls and Siri. The siren, it emits an 86 decibel sound pattern to attract help. It can be heard from 600 feet or 100 meters away. Side button, used to access safety features. You press and hold for an emergency call, you retrieve for a medical ID, or you could turn on the siren. Depth gauge, it provides real-time measurement of underwater depth up to 40 meters, along with water temperature readings. A three microphone array. In windy environments, an adaptive algorithm picks up the best microphone for audio. Digital crown. A larger diameter and grooves make it easier to use. And of course, you got the health sensor underneath. We'll have more in-depth review in the next episode on features and functionality of the Apple Watch Ultra. One of the things I don't like about the Ultra is that the display could have been a tad bigger or at the very least have the screen truly go edge to edge. As you can see in these images, they have the bezels surrounding it. But overall, the design and build quality of the Apple Watch Ultra are top notch and makes for a great user experience. And this marks the end of this episode. So what do you like about the Apple Watch Ultra so far? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll have other episodes in the coming days or they could be displayed right now. But in the meantime, check out my other videos on my channel as well as an adventure channel called The Artistry of Adventure. Everything will be in the description. Thank you again, and I'll catch you on the next one.